Hello everyone and welcome to Photo Finds. I'm your host Gavin Hatch. This week we're at Disney's Animal Kingdom taking a look at the Rivers of Light show and the merchandise that you can purchase after seeing the show. So we'll take a look at that stuff. But first let's start in the front of the park walking towards Harambe Village. Going towards Harambe, once you pass the Starbucks location on the left, I noticed this recently added Disney Vacation Club hut that is perfectly, you know, well themed and fits into the area of the park right before you go into Harambe. It's something that I'm maybe has been here for a while, but I have never noticed it, and I'm pretty sure it's just it was recently added. It looks very new. So this is another location. There's many of them all around the parks, around the resorts that you can visit and get information about becoming a member of Disney Vacation Club. I myself am not a member, but it is a good deal. I, I think it's really a good deal if you are a family that goes to Disney quite a bit and loves to do yearly vacations, it's definitely worth it. So Rivers of Light, this was our first time seeing this show. It opened up officially on February 17th. Now it was delayed for quite some time as most of you probably already know. It was supposed to open up last summer and they just had so many issues with it um, that it had to be delayed. And But this space, they finished the space. I mean the amphitheater was done for quite some time, but they didn't let it go to waste. They did use it for the uh, Jungle Book Alive with Magic, which was a really beautiful show and it had great live vocalists. And I cover that on an episode of Photo Finds. So if y'all want to look back on the playlist here and take a look at that, I had some great video and audio from that show that was just, it was beautiful. But this show is, it's definitely a different scale. It's a bigger scale show and it's up there with, I believe, I call, I think it is up there to the same caliber of Illuminations, Reflections of Earth. It, of course, it's not going to have pyro in it, except just the fire on the bar just towards the end of the show. Now, the reason why this show is so different, um, but very unique and similar to though two illuminations because it does not have the fireworks because of the animals in the park. They can't have any pyro going off and there's just also so much brush that would not be safe to have fire going off like that. But this show does do very well. The musical score is something that is really, when you walk away, the music is what sticks with you. You have it in your head, you're kind of, you just, you sing it, and it is very powerful. And of course, the speakers and the, the amphitheater, the way they designed it also helps because it just completely surrounds you and goes through you and you just, you feel that music and it's great. So that really does help uh, make up for no, not having any pyro or uh, fireworks in the show. The fountain effects are just really, there's a lot of it and it's great because we were sitting pretty much, we're in the second row, so we're essentially in the front row there. We didn't get wet at all, even though these barges do come pretty close, but it looks like I don't think there's any area where you could get wet. Possibly if there was some high winds, but if you want to sit in the front row, you don't have to worry about getting uh, soaking wet. It's nothing like that, uh, to my knowledge, at least from what I experienced that night. And it was just, it's great. Now there are live performers in the show. They're on the barges. There's no speaking roles. There's no live vocals. So it's not like uh, Alive with Magic but it is still really cool and I use these projections to make the performers look like they have shadows um, on these uh, sails on the ships or on the boats that they're on and it just looks so cool and I'm, the whole time I'm watching it I know it's a projection I'm thinking this cast member has to be choreographed perfectly in time with what we're seeing uh, on, the, on this canvas here behind them on the sail and it's just it's really quite beautiful. Now, unlike most Disney shows, especially Nighttime Spectaculars, there is no, uh, there's no characters. There's no Disney characters, I should say. So you're not going to see Mickey and his friends or anyone really, even in the Animal Kingdom Park, in the show. Uh, there's no speaking roles except for just the lyrics and the music itself. So it's, and I like that. I was actually kind of a critic before I saw it and I said, I don't like that there are no Disney characters. There's nothing for the kids to relate to, which is, of course, Disney's target audience. And watching the show sitting there, I'm thinking in the middle of the show, this is actually, it's good that they didn't do that. I kind of like that because Disney characters, everyone has their favorites and has their dislikes. People, and it's just, there's so many, it's kind of hard to choose. I'm sure it would have been hard to choose who's going to represent this show, this huge show that is, you know, it, they put so much into it. So it's better just to not have anyone. And instead it actually focuses on the natural world, the natural animals and what the park is all about. And it was just a really... Uh, a smart decision. I, I'm glad they didn't go ahead and make it into your typical Disney show. Uh, of course, Eliminations doesn't have any Disney characters in it either. So I, I kind of like 
I kind of, I'm not a big fan of eliminations, but I do kind of like how this show did. Uh, they did it well. I, I will say that. Just it's it's and when it comes to the two shows, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna put this out there right now. I know a lot of people are going to disagree, and I'm sure some will agree with me though. I prefer this show over eliminations, and it's crazy to say that because there is no pyro. Again, going back to that. You'd think that with no pyrotechnics, it couldn't be as good, but it is still, it's just that music is, is that good. And the barges, these floats are just really quite beautiful and they just do all kinds of different things. And I feel like this show is something that you can watch multiple times. And each time you see it, it's kind of like going on a hot mansion. Every time you ride it or see it, you see something different. You know, you're going to see something different and it's going to be a different experience based on where you're sitting. You're never going to miss out on anything, but it will be a different thing. And we were with friends that had seen it twice already and they had sat in different locations other times they saw it and they said it was a different experience. They got a different feel, a different vibe from it. So that's something that excites me because I would love to be able to go back. Now I have a reason to go back and try to sit somewhere different each time. Now that show we went to that night, there was a scheduled 7 p.m. show. The park, I believe, closed at 8 o'clock, but they did a show after park closing because the park was so busy, they just added a show. So you might get lucky and be able to do that. And I will tell you, that's something that's really cool because we just finished dinner and we walked over there and we were able to get a seat and there was plenty of seats still left. So the show was in the theater was not full and uh, which is great. And it's just, it was really quite a beautiful experience. And as you can see here, it's just, there's so many elements. There's fire, there is water, there is projections. I love the Lotus uh, flower barges because they have, they have so many things going on. They have lights, they have the water, but then they also have the film being projected onto these water screens, these miniature water screens that are on the actual barges. So there's multiple. And we were in a perfect spot where it came up close and the it's clear as day. You can really see what you're looking at. You know that you didn't have to kind of squint your eyes and look and see, well, what is this? What's that supposed to be? Oh, the line. No, you knew clear as day. It was like a film projecting onto just a screen. And it was, it's just really cool. It's a really, all these different elements and layers. There's lots of layers to the show and the projections and everything going on around you. So it is a really great experience. And they do dining packages as well. We didn't do the dining package, but I do know they do have dining packages if you guys are interested in that. Now, when it comes to the show's ending, this is the only real, real critique I have for the show. It needs to have a bigger ending, a more dramatic finale with more fire and the music just needs to, I don't know, it's something, there's a little, and I've heard this from multiple people, there's just something missing towards the end where it's kind of abrupt. And it's so funny because when it's done and it's over with, all the floats and barges are out there, they're all frozen, they all stop and the performers are still on the barges and are on their on their boats and <laughs> no one gets up no one leaves no one moves they no one gets up until they announce that you have to you have to leave <laughs> and go to the back of the, the amphitheater so everyone just sits there everyone claps but then we're just kind of watching the floats and things and as you're leaving it's kind of fun as you're walking up the stairs you just kind of look back be careful watch your step but look back and see everything kind of going back into place all the barges going back stage and uh, the boats come back over to the edge where the performers get off it's kind of fun watching that process happen and they stay in character of course the whole time all the performers on those barges so it's um it's it's pretty interesting the the ending does need to have something where it's really just uh aha moment and you're just in, in, in awe but um, I'm sure over the years and uh, maybe even over these coming months as they're getting reviews in and they, they, can, they can make changes they can always make changes there's always room for improvement especially at Disney so let's talk about merchandise here there is some interesting merchandise to look at when you're coming out of the park and uh, going into the stores they have all kinds of really unique uh, rivers of light merchandise that I I didn't think they would have this much they have uh, you know your typical jackets and shirts of course with logo and, and branding on it and it's it's nice there is a hoodie that zips up and that is going to have the logo on there um, there's also what's becoming really popular those necklaces that have the kind of look like it's clear plastic but I mean I guess at first glance you might think it's glass and it has like the the multicolor like logos and, and pictures in it and then it has a light in it and it light there's like three lights and they change and they turn on and off and bounce back and forth and it makes the image on that's painted onto the, the round circle there 
look like it's moving. So that's kind of cool. And that uh, that is specifically for Rivers of Light and has a logo on there. There is also a pin, these pins here. I'm not a big fan of these pins because they're just so weird and bulky and feel weird when you're, when you got it in your hand. But uh, they have the Rivers of Light pin here with the logo on one side. And on the back, they have the Lotus flower. And then there's also the, uh, this is kind of unique. They have like kind of like the glow with the show thing for specifically for the Rivers of Light show where they have these animals you know, stacked on top of each other. There's a lotus flower on top that has a multicolor LED light in it. And you can press a button to change the color and you can go around people and you know, they're walking around the park or sitting in the amphitheater with you and you can press it and theirs will change. So you can control other people's colors and make it change. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Um, um, with you know if everyone's trying to change each other's colors so I don't, I'm not sure how one person can do everyone but it's really unique in the store it's fun to just play with one pick up one wand or <laughs> one of these and you just point it towards the other ones and they all change the same or change to the same color it's it's really unique there is also uh, we are looking here at just another t-shirt but I love the, the logo here this lotus flower design here was really quite nice and but that shirt has a lot going on it's not something I would wear uh, we also have the back of another t-shirt that has it looks like a tiger I want to say it's a tiger uh, on the back of it there's also the fleece throw here so that has the same design from the shirt it's just put on to the fleece throw so if you want to buy this before you go out to the amphitheater you can bring that out there with you to cuddle up and just keep warm because it can get pretty chilly out there especially yeah, it's gonna definitely be chilly out there and uh, around the water it's even colder. So it's always nice to have something like that to bundle up with. And then there's also the coffee mugs here. One side has the Rivers of Light logo and the other side has that beautiful lotus flower design on it. And they did the same thing with some shot glasses. So you can buy a shot glass or as they call it, toothpick holders in the parks. And the toothpick holder on one side has Rivers of Light and again the uh, lotus flower on the other side. This is a pin for all you pin collectors out there. They do have the Rivers of Light pin, and I'm. This is the only one I saw. I'm surprised they only have one. Maybe they do have more than one, but I'm sure if they did, they would be selling it here. But this is the pin for the show. I'm sure they'll add more Rivers of Light pins in the years to come. And then Christmas ornaments. They they always have the Christmas ornaments out year round, so you can purchase them if you're shopping in the middle of summer. Um, can't come back. Disney World during Christmas. Uh, this is going to be a light up though. This is a light up Christmas ornament that I have never seen them do before. So this is really cool. You can turn it on and it changes colors. And here is a t-shirt. This is for just a child. I don't think they have this in adult sizes or at least I did not see any adult sizes for this. Uh, so that was a beautiful shirt there for kids. And then I love behind the register, they incorporated the show, uh, that lotus flower into the design of the register. So this is the, the back wall here behind the register. And I thought that was really pretty. So I took a picture of that and they, as you can see, are even, they're selling those, uh, <laughs> those glow with the show wands once again. And then we have this sign here, which I thought was kind of nice. They have this theme to the area, to that display with all the Rivers of Light show stuff. So 10% um, of the retail price of all the items there uh, goes towards Disney's conservation fund to help protect wildlife. Over here at the Souvenir Penny Machine, I noticed that they still sell the Disney's uh, Jam and Jungle Parade Souvenir Penny. So if you are a big fan of that, you should come in here before they get rid of this because I'm sure their small supplies last. I'm sure they're going to stop doing it eventually. But I thought it was so funny that they still had this here, even though that Jim and Jungle Parade has been gone for over a year now. Well, that will do it for our evening at Disney's Animal Kingdom. I came into the park thinking I would not like Rivers of Light, and I really, really enjoyed it. And I will be back to see it again very soon and as much as I can. So I loved it. And that will do it for this week's edition of Photo Finds. I hope all of you have a great week. Please make sure you comment below. Give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to Attractions Magazine. And until next week, make sure you guys get out, you have fun, and you enjoy those parks.